Ollie Murs, right, are you ready to hear the new single from this lady? What a great song this was. It is still. I'm like a bird. From the year 2000. Can't believe that. Miss Nelly Furtado, what a fine lady she is. And we've missed her. She hasn't been around for quite a while now, so we're looking forward to getting this new single on the show. So, yesterday... We gave Nelly Furtado a quick phone call. I won't tell you where she is just yet because she reveals all during the phone chat. And we just wanted to have a talk to her to see what she was up to, how she's feeling about the new single, the new album, because she has been making music since we last heard from her, but she made a Spanish album, so it wasn't so recognised over here. So have a listen to what happened when I spoke to the lovely Nelly Furtado yesterday. Hello, Nelly Furtado. Hi, how are you? I'm good. It's Fern here from Radio 1. How are you? Hi, Fern. I'm great. How are you doing? I'm really, really well, actually. I'm, I'm very excited to play your new song uh, on Radio Yay. 1 for the first time in a moment. I really love it. I heard it for the first time yesterday. And it's just brilliant. Oh. It's just such a great tune and not what I expected at all. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much. I'm really, really excited about this new music. I bet you are. I mean, what have you been up to since we last heard from you? Um, how long has it taken you to kind of get this album ready to go? It's going to be out in June. Oh, good Lord. A while. Um, <laughs> I did um, a Spanish... I put out a Spanish album in 2009. Yeah. And then basically right after that, I started working on this new album. And it comes out in June, June 19th. And yeah, I just got really inspired and started you know just playing again in the studio just like how it was in the very very beginning you know just really not worrying about too much except just having fun in the studio and that's what happens when you have fun in the studio end up making music that's playful and fun you've got loads of big beats on this album as well and especially in this single it's such a huge tune when you start out making an album like this do you know which sort of direction you want to go in from early doors or do you kind of just organically see what happens with it um yeah but like i kind of i never really I, I never completely plan out the sound i mean sometimes i have ideas about like the mood or something and i'm in a certain state of mind but it, it takes a while sometimes like in the beginning of this album like three years ago, I was like in a different state of mind than the very end, which was this track that I produced, um, that was produced by Rodney Jerkins, Rodney Dark Child Jerkins. And when Rodney and I met, it was almost like fireworks went off, you know, and it was just a real great energy in the studio. It was like a party every day in there. And um, I just knew, I just knew it, it finally had, been, had really come together. So That must be a great yeah. feeling when you go, oh, we've got, we've got a winner here, guys. We've got a single that's going to go the huge. Best. Oh, I bet. It's the, best fe- it's the best feeling in the world. Whenever you feel like the four walls of the studio are like can't contain the sound you're creating, yeah. that's always when you know, like, okay, we're ready to put this out. We've got a beast. We've got one. We've got one ready to go, one ready to release to the wild. <laughs> um, also, you've been working with people on this album like Tiesto, right? Um, I don't know. I feel like a little bit better. I mean, one person I also collaborated with, Salam Remy, who may, you all may know from like Amy Winehouse and different tracks like that, but... That, we have some cool tracks on there. He, he did one with me with Nas on it. And then I also did work with Tiesto. Tiesto did something different than what he usually does with me. He did a more ambient sort of track that features um, the Kenyan Boys Choir. Wow. Who um, actually got originally discovered. Well, they got they performed at Obama's, President Obama's inauguration. And then they got, like, signed to a record deal at London Heathrow Airport on the way back. Oh, wow. <laughs> so anyway, Tiesto remixed the song we did, which is pretty cool. Nice. be on the deluxe. Oh, I've got, like, a rock track produced by Bob Rock. I don't know if you're familiar with it. I love Bob Rock. Like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's in loads of, like, Metallica and stuff like that. But um, then I did um, I did a song with um, Mike Angelico from Passion Pit as well. Oh, that that has sort so of, um Yeah, so it's kind of all over the place, the record, but mainly it's just meant to make you move and have a good time. It's like a rush. I call it, like, a friendly punch to the face. <laughs> it's very <Nice>. relentless. <laughs> Just a friendly punch, boom, in your nose. <laughs> and I was just I was just looking at some uh, information about you and stuff and seeing what you've been up to, and I can't believe that it's been 12 years since I'm Like a Bird. That is insane. <laughs> I know. 12 I know, years. It's been a while. I can't believe that song was... you feel quite ancient. <laughs> oh, it really is. It, well, that was a huge song for me. And So what was I, about 18 at that point, um, when that song came out? And it was such a big tune, but I hadn't realised it was so long ago. Oh, 
It's I mad. know it. But yeah, the time has flown by, to be honest. Like, it's, it feels like just yesterday, you know, it's like, you know, getting off a plane in London. <clears throat> promote I'm like a bird, you know, and top of the box or something. Yeah. <laughs> Back when there's still a top of the box on TV. I think I might have even but, presented um, that one you were on, probably. It's a long while ago now. Boy, for sure. Oh, for sure. I was yeah. a few times. When are you coming back to the UK? Have you got any plans to hit our shores? I do. I do indeed. I'm going to be coming to the UK really soon in the next uh, month or two, I think, just to promote uh, the Coops and my new album. My new album's called The Spirit Indestructible. And yeah, it'll be out June 19th. Oh, you must pop in and see us. Come to the studio. I will for sure, in a heartbeat. For sure. I make good cakes, just to warn you. So if you put in your oh, orders, you do? oh, I bake yeah. as well. Do you? What's your favourite cake to bake? I like making like banana bread with yes! chocolate chips. I like oh, not with chocolate chips. I've not done that before. Oh, I'll try that. <laughs> I love making it's a good. banana loaf. It's my favourite thing to do. My boyfriend oh loves my that God. one. Yeah. Okay, we're baking making banana loaf. Best. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to make you a banana loaf and you're going to come in and we're going to have a chat and we'll talk about cake and have a cup of tea. That'll be nice, that will. We're going to do it. We'll do that. We're going to do it. Um, we're going to play your new song, Big Hoops, Bigger the Better, on my show next. And it's been lovely talking Woo! to you. Do pop in for a bit of banana cake soon. Oh, thank you so much, Fern. I will. Nice speaking with you. And you, Nelly. Take it easy, darling. Okay, take care. Bye. 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 This is Fern Cossel. BBC Radio. One. So let's do it. The new tune from Nelly Furtado. Big hoops, bigger the better. This is Fern Cossum. This is BBC Radio One. Yes, to that. Nelly Furtado, big hoops, bigger the better. Really good, that, isn't it? I didn't expect it, especially the drum and bass bit at the end. Really, really nice. A lot of people loving that on the text as well. Dot has texted in saying, this is amazing, I love it. When can I download it? You can get that in your life from the 4th of June. And Nelly's fifth album, The Spirit Indestructible, is going to be out on the 18th of June. Um, loving this tune. So fresh. It's huge, says Jackie in Southampton. Chloe in Finchley. Uh, this Nelly F tune is amazing. Love her. So pleased that she's back. What a lovely lady as well. Um, also, this will seriously make you jealous. Listen to this when I was chatting to Nelly yesterday on the phone. Nelly, where <laughs> are you in the world right now? I'm actually in Barbados. Are you joking? Oh. No, I'm serious. I'm sorry. You could you can almost hear the ocean. I'm gonna see if I can get an ocean sound. Go- okay, I'm gonna walk out, and you're gonna hear birds. Please don't cue the birds. Oh. Can you hear that? Can you hear the ocean? I can hear the ocean. I think I can hear the ocean. <laughs> oh Wait. God! Check that yeah. out. Oh, that's so depressing. There she was, swinging on a pina colada. Probably not. In a hammock, chilling out in the sunshine, we could actually hear the waves lapping into that golden sand as we sat in the basement studio at Radio 1. Oh, Nelly, you lucky lady. But what a lovely woman. Uh, Great to talk to her. And hopefully she will pop into the studio when she's over here in the summer. And I will, I'll follow it through. I'll make a nice banana loaf for her. I will do that. And I might even try sort of plopping in some chocolate chips like she suggested as well. And we'll have a nice chinwag then. Um... We had a nice story about Nelly a minute ago. Joe from Radio 1 just popped in and said apparently when she did her first ever live lounge, which was way back about 12 years ago, um, she came into the studio and she was saying that whenever she used to come to London on holiday, she always used to listen to the live lounge and go, that's where I want to be. That's what I want to do. The live lounge. And boy, she did it. Um, So hopefully we'll get her in the studio when she comes back in the summer. Really enjoying this music, actually. Lovely. So there we have it, Nelly Furtado's brand new tune. We'll definitely be playing that again. It's an absolute cracker and you can get it in your life from the 4th of June. Thank you to Nelly Furtado.